Gentlemen, you ready? Peach cobbler, I think. Mm-hmm. I'll have a whole eggplant. Great. Um, eggplant. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank I'll you. I'll get right on that. So what do we got here today, Brandon? Well, I brought you uh, some things I think you'll like. Uh, no, I, I saw your video recently where you uh, recited one of Shakespeare's sonnets. Uh, yes, yes. And uh, But you don't currently have any collection of Shakespeare's sonnets. I've right? had Lee Miller scan page by page, like, hey, how about Sonnet 130? And then he sends me a picture oh. that he scanned oh. of his book of Sonnet 130. And I'm, so I don't have all of them, I just have the ones that he's scanned individually for me. Well, then this would be good for both you and Lee Miller. Okay. Yeah. What do we got? I've got uh, La Sonnetoi, the sonnets. Okay. So it's a bilingual uh, collection of all of Shakespeare's sonnets. Nice. Uh, translated by William Ald, who's a, a, a yeah. Esperanto poet from Scotland. Eddie Studio? Uh, yeah, this is like an Esperanto publisher. I'm not sure if they're still active. They, they may still be active, um, okay. but they, they did a lot of publishing in the past. Um, and so yeah, it's got yeah, all of... Let's through here. Let's see. Yeah. Where, did you, where did you find this one, or where did this come from? Where to be you... honest, I, I don't remember. I haven't seen these books in a few years at this point, so... Nice. Uh, I, could, I may have ordered it from UEA. Okay. Uh, or I may have ordered it from the Flandre Esperanto Ligo. Nice. Yeah. Se mia pesa carno estus penso min ne altigus barai mal proximoi. It just rolls right off the tongue there. So, all right. Yeah. Let's give a bit of context. This is this is your personal collection of books that you've more or less gone through, or yeah. So these are this is my personal collection, part of my personal collection, uh, which I kind of gave to the Atlanta Esperanto Club a few years ago, and then okay. we talked about you know. You might want to look through these, uh, maybe do something with them, or um, scan some. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, So yeah, and to just have copies because some of these are probably rare books that we don't mm. have a lot of. Yeah. Other versions out there, they're hard to track down. Or exactly. Exorbitant prices online, so let's just make sure these are in a place where we can get to them. If someone wants to reference them, cite a source from for an essay so that we can find them. So exactly. This is super helpful. Though. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this is probably going to be my favorite of the the bunch right here. I've been wanting this book for a long time. So yeah, and it's on. I love having it in the bilingual. You know, being able to compare. Yes, yeah, side yeah. by side. It's so yeah. like no share, no fear Shakespeare, where yeah. you get to see like, but what do they really say? Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. that'll that'll be fun. I might yeah. make a whole audiobook of just that just to hear and listen to because I think that's bite-sized enough yeah. where people can go Sonnet 18 or go by Sonnet by Sonnet and be like listen to a couple and that's fine instead of mm. a huge Alice in Wonderland oh man right. I'm not, I don't have time for an entire feature length book right. here so oh, you, could, you could do it even like a podcast or something you know it's like true a 10 minute episode or something yeah, I love it all right cool yeah. all so right. that's that's that Sonnets. Uh, no just in case that wasn't enough Shakespeare for you uh -oh. I've got a pretty good collection of oh my works of Shakespeare we got here. Now this one, uh, I think people who have seen your videos in the past may remember. That's right. This yeah. helped me win a uh, trip to Montreal here, the uh, the King Lear trip. That was right. in the one that we featured, that won the China Radio International contest, where you quoted a, a bit from here mm -hmm. at, when we went to the Shakespeare Tavern and saw this play done in English. Right. So that is so neat. Okay, right. cool. Yeah, so, and that was interesting because I'd never seen King Lear before that. I didn't know, you know, Live, what was, you was a good part to read or anything like that. And I've yeah. seen it a few times since then. Um, yeah. And it's, King Lear is like one of those that has an interesting life uh, internationally, you know, like uh, Nelson Mandela uh, performed King Lear when he was in prison. Oh, wow. It's so, like, all, you know, all kinds of uh, people. So, and this was translated by Kalman Kalachai, who's a, yeah. a Hungarian Esperanto poet and author and translator. Nice. Yeah, I see yeah. him pop up sometimes when I check Poevo for yeah. things. I'm like, yeah. oh, this is he used it. Okay, yeah, yeah. it's worth using this. Yeah. So, well, very fun. Yeah, and actually, he translated a lot of Shakespeare's works, so it's kind of interesting. Like, uh, you know, obviously, there's, you know, the, uh, there's translations by Zamenhof. There's mm -hmm. translations by William Auld, who's English or British, uh, and then Kalajai, who's you know Hungarian. It's like, how did he get this great feel for Shakespeare? Yeah, this was El Donita Ocase de la. Uh, Treats and Queen Decca dat Reveno de la Morto de William Shakespeare. So this oh, was great. published as a, you know part of the anniversary, 350th uh, anniversary of his death. There. Yeah. So. And I think we just hit the 400th, right? I think recent. We just passed some milestone. Yeah. Might have been it. Yeah. I remember in 2011, 2012. I was doing The Tempest, mm -hmm. and we were doing that one specifically because it was like the 400 year anniversary of, it, you know, in, in 1612 yeah. when they did it. So, hey, yeah. we're doing this again, yeah. 1611, whenever it was. Uh, so, well, that's fun. a great segue. Hey, look at that. La Tempesto. Yeah. Yes, I played. Uh, Stefano or Trinculo, one of those two. Uh, I think maybe I was Trinculo, one of the one of the comedic mm. uh, fools in that one. I, I think I dressed up as a, got drunk and wore a dress and pranced around like an idiot. So that's awesome. Yes. Oh man. Both have to do with storms and yeah. blow, blow winds and yeah. the gales and the tempests and all that Caliban. So 
the Tempest, La Tempesto. I've also seen translations uh, where it's La Ventego, mm -hmm. the great wind instead, right. but I think La Tempesto is, is more fun to say yeah. um, there. So again, by Kalachai. Um, I actually tr have tried two times to do a like a radio drama podcasty audio version of the Tempest. Really, I I assembled a cast in Lynchburg, Virginia, when I was living there, but then they're like, "Wait, this is going to be in Esperanto?" <laughs> actually, I'm not interested. No thanks. No. This is too hard for me. And then I tried again in Richmond, Virginia, when I was living out there. Yeah. You guys want to do this? You just have to read it off screen. You don't have to memorize a thing. Yeah. Just pronounce it. But they're like, "This is hard to pronounce. We don't know what we're saying." Yeah. So I, they both kind of dropped out of me. I'm like, "Yeah, that I was asking to bite off more than they knew how to chew there." Yeah. But. One day, I would love to do this because this one, it's so episodic mm -hmm. that you can have the same five actors playing different roles and kind of accomplishing the same things without it getting too confusing because you yep. only see these five ever at a time and then the two lovers here and then the two fools and, and you're able to delineate them pretty easily in an episodic format. Oh, that's fun. interesting. So nice. were you using that version? No, I think I was yeah. using an older version that yeah. was like definitely public domain that okay. I found a PDF yeah. of yeah. that I think it was La Ventego and yeah. all that. So I'd be curious to compure and contrast the two side by side. So nice, nice. 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 Cool. Here's one that uh, I I think I've seen this you know live at some point in the past, but I've not read it in Esperanto yet. Nice. This is another one that I've performed. I played okay. the, both Dromeos in, yeah. in the Comedy of Errors, uh, where they really like swapped hats real quick and mm -hmm. swapped vests and did mm -hmm. quick changes back and forth on camera. So this has got two pairs of twins in it. And what's the word for twins in Esperanto? Gemeloi. Gemeloi. And I just, in this very room, did a film called Jenai Gemeloi not too long ago for the Usona Bona Film Festival. So nice. I'm in a twin state of mind in this room. So it's fun. And this one's a little bit shorter, probably a little more... A bite size for people to get started. I'd probably start with this instead of King Lear. Yeah. Uh, it's like simple, oh, I see what the funny part of this scene is instead of like probing the depths of the human emotions. <laughs> it may be a bit much to bite off though. That's great. And wait, who did this one? This was uh, William Ald and Asen Simeonov. I don't know who that is. Interesting. Ald had something from to do Russia with or something like that. Interesting. El Doneoy Cardo. Oh. So it was uh, in Glasgow and Sarajevo, so I'm guessing he was uh, Bosnian. Oh, Boston. Okay, cool. Kind of a collaboration there. Just yeah. like we're collaborating right now. Just like it, it yeah. All right, what else All we right. got here? Uh, this is an interesting one. Uh, now, you know, there's not a lot of works that have been translated into Esperanto multiple times. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the classics from Esperanto literature is uh, Zamenhof's translation of Hamleto. Uh -huh. Right, which he uh, he did, you know, kind of as a challenge to show Esperanto is up for translating, you know, one of the masterpieces of world literature. Right. Yeah, this is 1896, was it? Or what was it? Uh, let's see. I don't know what it says. Or 1894 was the first. Uh, Unue Eldono. Mm -hmm. 1894 there. Right, nice. And which Eldono is this one? This is the Nawa Eldono. Okay. The Dumil Ses. Yeah. So a lot's changed yeah, since then. Yeah. So nice. But that's interesting because a lot of things have now been printed nine times in Esperanto, right? So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and updated and all that stuff. Yeah. So, a classic. I've done some scenes from this at Nosk. I did a mm -hmm. scene with with uh, Katie and uh, Sinjin. Um, so very nice. Yeah. Humphrey Tonkin uh, does a post parolo in there. Talks about it. So. Yeah. Amazing. And then uh, someone, you know, brought it on themselves to uh, to try a new translation. I think in the 1960s. Okay. Uh, so this is by Ellen M. Newell. He's a, uh, I believe, English. And uh, he, yeah, he did a new translation of Hamlet in the 1960s. Literatura serio. So. Yeah, I'd be interesting side by side. Be like, all right, to be or not to be, how, how, what what is there to change right. or improve upon there? But you could do a side by side comparison of those two. So very nice. Yeah. Cool. cool. All right. Uh, next one is Padrasado de la Meguero. Aha! Uh -huh. I remember this was a yeah. Jeopardy question is one it? time, okay. and this one stumped me the longest. I was like. The what of the what? Yeah. And then if, you know, because dressado yeah. doesn't look like it. It's not like, you know, getting dressed up. What does that mean? Right. But dressado, you know, tsh, tsh, like a lion tamer. Yeah. That is the taming of the shrew. True. So yeah. there you go. Yes, indeed. Which I love that play. Another one that I did. I've done did a you? lot of these okay. Shakespeare plays, okay. actually. I was a, a several different characters in this one. I remember I played two characters. One was a dummy that mm -hmm. I played. I was mm -hmm. like, the dummy was the master and I was the servant. Oh, and he was like, oh, come on, grab my luggage and all yeah. that stuff. I'm like, okay, yes, sir. I'm so sorry. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting, getting spat upon by, by this uh, ventriloquist dummy. So nice. Katharina and Kiss Me Kate is based on this one, too. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Gremio Lucentio. Great stuff. Rosado de la Maguero. Nice. What else we got here? All right. No, you just mentioned uh, that Humphrey Tonkin did the afterword to the to mm -hmm. Hamlet. Mm -hmm. uh, this one was translated by Humphrey Tonkin. For the folks who don't know, he's a 
uh, eminent Esperantist and a Shakespeare scholar. Yes, yeah. yes. And so this is The Winter Tale. Right. Uh, yes, The Winter Tale, which I've, I haven't been in, but I've seen it performed. And this is a fun one. Very magical. It's kind of like The Tempest in that, mm. like like a statue coming to life before your eyes mm. kind of thing. So like, what in the world's happening here? So this is a lesser known one. So if you want to read a Shakespeare play that, you know, you really don't know what happens next. Like Hamlet's like, oh, I know what scene we're on now because yeah. you know the story so well. This was, it would be fun for someone who's like, really has to navigate and uh, hack down with his machete. Like, where are we in the jungle at this point in the story? So yeah, phantoms appear and all that stuff. So the Winter Tale, which glad to add that to the collection there. Awesome. What else we got? Uh, this one is Epifanio. Epifanio, yeah. okay. So interesting, uh, the English title has Epiphany as part of the title. Oh, that's but it's okay. better known as know, Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night. Yeah. Uh, Dec Dua Nocto, yes. Yeah. Epiphany, nice. Which I also, I, I played Sir Andrew Agichik in this. This is my first Did Shakespeare you? was uh, Epiphanio. Epiphanio, yes. Was this. And I was playing the banjo instead of the lyre or the lute mm. or whatever in that. So, okay, interesting. Yeah. And this is also translated by William Auld. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, Al Harmona Vilcio de Olda Vilcio. Tut Corre uh, Januaro Mil Nautsens uh, Septex Sep. Yeah. There? Yeah, so that's 1977. So from, from one Vilcio to another, from one will to another, I wonder who donated that. So. Well, I imagine it's, or, it's oh, from William oh, Auld. From Vilcio. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, the older. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. So I wonder which Vilcio got it though. It's, uh, yeah, well, there's yeah. a few. Yeah. There's a few uh, batting around these days. So nice. Yeah, this is a classic one. Mm. Nice. All right. Twelfth night. Everyone loves that. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I read this um, right before I saw the play at the Shakespeare Tavern. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is La Somermes Nocta Sonjo. Yes. Midsummer Night's Dream. Exactly. And uh, yeah, I read it right before I watched the play at the Shakespeare Tavern. And you know, you mentioned in your video recently that reading Shakespeare in Esperanto actually helped you to understand or see some things in Shakespeare that you wouldn't yes. have seen otherwise. Yes. And that was definitely the case for this. Like there was all kinds of, you know, puns with the mechanicals and things yes. like that. Yes. And and the fairy section mm -hmm. with like Titania and Oberon. Mm -hmm. That gets really complicated yeah. in English, and I'm like, I study this stuff. I've been in a lot of Shakespeare plays, and I'm like, what though? Like, mm -hmm. I'll forget. So it's, there's some thick language in here. I think Esperanto does break it down in a fun way. Speaking of Oberon, that's the child of Katie Katie. So yeah. I, I yeah. Can't, can't think of this play without thinking of, hey, I, I, a budding Esperantist in our very midst. I thought here. about that earlier when you mentioned his <laughs> yes. name. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah Oberon. Yeah. Uh, yes, what a classic. Yeah, yeah, I still have not read this translation, yeah. so look forward to it. Cool. And what do we got here? And then uh, this is a fairly well-known one. Oh, uh, uh, yes, La yeah. Tragedia de Otello. Nice. And uh, Reto Rossetti uh, did this. Oh, El Angligis. Mm. You don't see that very often. Usually no. Traducis, but yeah. out of the Englishified by yes. Reto Rossetti there. So, oh, that's that's just rolls off the tongue, right? Yes, El I'm like yeah. this is like. Is this a game where you have to not use the word Traducis? That's the only <laughs> yeah. reason I would say that. But okay, cool. Um, oh yeah, and there's even a story about why this person decided to translate it and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> Yeah, well, that's fantastic. So, Othello. I've seen a couple productions of this, and this is a, a very fun one. I've always wanted to play uh, Iago, and mm. this one is Yago. Yago. It's just a, yeah, yeah. J-A-G-O, Yago. Um, it's a fun villain role to, to do here, so. Well, fantastic. Well, that's that's great to add to the collection. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to go on too long for today, but that is some new Shakespeare that I've got access to. I plan on scanning most, if not all, of these and making them available to folks around the world. I'll make sure they're not actively being sold still. Uh, I don't want to cut on anyone's royalty checks or anything, but if it's like, all right, no one's publishing this book or doing anything like that, I just want more people to have access to these great works of literature because Shakespeare is dialogue. Mm -hmm. And when you are practicing dialogue, that's more useful than reading a flowery description in a novel of it was a dark and stormy night, the winds were howling. I'm like, yeah, who cares? Yeah. I want to know how to say, hey, shut up over there. Yeah. That's more useful. And this has stuff like that, you know, vi mal help us neon laboron, you yeah. know, you mar our labor. You know, I'm remembering the tempest scene and some of the wording there of like, oh, okay, that's how to tell people to stop annoying me. So I'm, I'm a huge Shakespeare fan and a huge Esperanto fan. So this is just a, a happy treat. So awesome. thank you so much for You're welcome. the kind donation. Here. Yeah, definitely. Right. I don't think that waiter's coming back. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well. Where's that eggplant? Yeah. Thank you, patrons, for making this video possible.